Hello and a very warm welcome to our YouTube channel Corrosion Control and Inspections. We will be sharing informative videos on various corrosion, inspection, welding, metallurgy, coatings and paintings as well as asset integrity related topics. Your valuable feedback will be important for us. Do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Press bell icon to keep yourself notified about upcoming videos. In this video, you will get to know an overview about what is hydro test. We will discuss how hydro test is carried out for a pressure vessel. We will discuss about difference between pneumatic test and hydro test. We will also discuss about difference between hydro test and leak test. Hydro testing, more formally called hydrostatic testing, is a type of test that is performed on pressure vessels to check for strength and leaks. The hydro test or hydrostatic test is classified as a non-destructive test because the main objective is not to check the resistance, but rather the tightness of the parts. ASME Section 8, Division 1, ASME Code, sets out the general requirements for inspection and testing for pressure vessels. One of the requirements is that either hydrostatic test or pneumatic test must be performed, and vessel must be inspected during the test. The hydro test is most common test for pressure testing of pipes and vessels. Pressure vessels designed for internal pressure are subjected to a hydrostatic test pressure that, at every point in the vessel, is at least equal to 1.3 times the maximum allowable working pressure, MAWP, multiplied by the lowest stress ratio, LSR, for the material of which the pressure vessel is constructed. The LSR for the pressure vessel material is the ratio of the stress value at its test temperature to the stress value at the design temperature. In order to conduct this method, the vessel is filled with water and loaded it into a sealed chamber, called the test jacket, which is also filled with water. The vessel is then pressurized inside the test jacket for a specified amount of time. The test involves filling the vessel or pipe system with a liquid usually water, which may be dyed to aid in visual leak detection, and pressurization of the vessel to the specified test pressure. Pressure tightness can be tested by shutting off the supply valve and observing whether there is a pressure loss. Following the application of the hydrostatic test pressure for a specific amount of time, usually from 10 minutes to half hour, the pressure is reduced to a value not less than the test pressure divided by 1.3. Visual inspection is then made of all joints and connection. Other than the leakage that might occur at temporary test closures for those openings intended for welded connections, there should be no leakage at the time of visual inspection. A hydrostatic test is performed by using water as the test medium, whereas a pneumatic test uses air nitrogen, or any non-flammable and non-toxic gas. 
In general, pressure tests must be hydrostatic unless pneumatic tests can be justified. Pneumatic tests are potentially more dangerous than hydrostatic because of the higher level of potential energy. Using a pneumatic test instead of hydrostatic requires approval by the pressure systems program manager. Hydrostatic testing, also called leak testing and pressure testing, helps evaluate the integrity of vessels that are used under pressure. The hydrostatic test can locate leaks, verify performance and confirm the strength and durability of the pressure vessels that undergo testing. The pressure test is usually performed at 1.1 to 1.5 times the design pressure of the system. The code leak test is applied to test the pressure boundary of the piping system and not the isolation points in the system, such as the seats or seal in valves. Thanks for visiting our channel. We will be sharing informative videos on various corrosion and asset integrity related topics. Your valuable feedback will be important for us. Do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. Press bell icon to keep yourself notified about upcoming videos.